Want Midjourney to replicate a style you like? No problem. Use Midjourney's Style Reference tool. Let's explore Midjourney's newest parameter. In February 2024, Midjourney released a new tool for version 6, Style Reference, or SREF. Style Reference is perfect if you like pointing at an image and saying, make it look like that. This is super helpful if you don't know how to describe the style you want, or if you like combining styles. But wait, can't we already do that in Midjourney with image prompts? Well, sort of. So let's look at what makes SREF and image prompts different. But before we get too deep into the specifics, SREF only works on Midjourney version 6 and Niji version 6. This is the current Midjourney default version as of February 2024. We have a couple of different style parameters, and if you're getting confused, let's do a quick overview for version 6. The most popular style parameter is Style Raw. Style Raw takes away a lot of Midjourney style preferences. Style Raw stays closer to your prompt, but it also means Midjourney isn't going to make your image beautiful, though you can add beauty with words in your prompt. Stylize is a measure of Midjourney beauty. The default is 100, and you can reduce Stylize to 0 if you don't want to see any Midjourney beauty touches, or whack it up to 1000 if you love the look of Midjourney images. The lower values of Stylize may have better prompt understanding, but higher values might have better aesthetics. And yes, you can use Stylize and Style Raw parameters together for interesting looks. With the new Style Reference parameter, we now have SW, or Style Weight, to go along with SREF, but more on that later. Version 5 has a few more style parameters that we may soon see in version 6. Version 5 has the Style Tuner. This was a way to choose your favorite styles based on image choices. You choose your favorite versions of an image and receive a unique style code. It's a huge tool and I have an entire video on how to use it. But to make it easy, use the Style Random parameter and Midjourney will choose one of the seemingly infinite unique styles for your image. In Niji 5, you have some other anime style options. Scene, Cute, Expressive, and Original. So why do we need the new style reference parameter? Well, Midjourney is working on algorithms for creating consistent styles. Do you want to make a graphic novel that follows a noir detective through the story? SREF is a step in that direction. Currently, every time we prompt for a scene, we get a different look. Using an image prompt helps, but image prompts focus mainly on composition, the way the elements are laid out in the image, and to a lesser extent, color and style. Notice the character's body positions are more like the inspiration image, even if the setting changes. The colors may be different, and some of the images seem drawn by a different artist. SREF looks to capture the style, the look of the image, and to a lesser extent, the composition. Using the same image as a style reference instead of an image prompt helps keep the style similar while changing the action in the images. Is the character the same each time? Well, no. But look ahead to CREF, or Character Reference, parameter coming soon. The new tool will focus primarily on recreating a character reference. SREF isn't an update to image prompts. It's something different. And you can even use both at the same time, and I'll show you how later in the video. To use SREF, you need at least one image URL. You can use an online image 
or upload one into Midjourney, and then copy the URL. I'll show you how to use the SREF parameter both in Discord, and since the Alpha website is opening up to more and more creators, I'll show you how to use it here too. In Discord, drag your inspiration image into Discord and click Return. Open the image and right click, then copy the URL. Now in the message bar, type slash imagine, type your text prompt, and then type dash dash s r e f space, and then paste in your image URL. On the website, upload an image by clicking the plus icon and dragging your inspiration image into the message bar. Not the box that says choose a file or drop it here, but the prompt bar itself. Two boxes appear, add style reference and add image prompt. Drag the image into the box that says add style reference. If you aren't sure if your image is a style reference or an image prompt, grab the image and move it around a little bit. The boxes will reappear and you can choose what you want. An image can be both an image prompt and a style reference. If you already have an image you've uploaded and you want to use it as a style reference, click the plus sign in the prompt bar and click the image you want to use. The website seems to default to using the image as an image prompt, so drag the image thumbnail a little bit to get the boxes to appear and move it to the add style reference box. Now in the prompt bar, type your text prompt. You can also paste in a style reference URL like you do in Discord. Simply type dash dash sref space and paste in your image. After you paste in the image URL, the sref disappears, but your image is still there. Image prompts and style prompts look very similar on the website. Right now, the sref images seem to have a paperclip icon in the bottom right corner, while the image prompts don't. Hopefully, changes on the website will eliminate the confusion. And don't forget that you can use sref with other parameters. Stylize, weird, chaos, and even style raw, though you may get very different looks. The website is a little confusing right now, but there is a nifty little style reference shortcut on the website. Click on an image you'd like to use as a style reference. It can be an image you made, or one that you see on the Explore page. Now at the bottom, click the Style button. The image instantly becomes a style reference for your new image. Now type in your prompt and you're ready to go. Not getting enough of the style from your style reference image? Add the SW or style weight parameter to your prompt. SW is a little like IW or image weight. If you're using an image prompt, you can add more weight to your image by adding the dash dash IW space 2 to your prompt. But SREF is on a scale from 0 to 1000. The default style weight is only 100. To adjust the style weight, type dash dash SW space after your prompt and enter a number. You can reduce the effect of style by using a number lower than 100, but you can really increase it by going as high as 1000. Can you use SREF and image prompts at the same time? Of course, and here's why you should. Image prompts and style references focus on different parts of the inspiration image. Maybe you like the subject or composition of one image and the colors and overall vibe of another. 
Start your prompt by pasting in the URL of the image you want to use as an image prompt. You'll need to add a little bit of text to your prompt. It's not possible to combine an image prompt and a style reference image without at least some text. For instance, try describing what you like about the images, or change the subject. After your text prompt, type dash dash href and paste in the image you want to use as a style reference. In Discord, remember that the image prompts go before the text, and the parameter href goes after the text. On the website, you have two image prompt options in the prompt bar. Place one image in the add image prompt box and the other in the add style reference box. But remember, SREF isn't a style transfer tool. It's a style reference tool. You can't just pop in an image and map the style reference onto the image. Midjourney is creating something new each time. Can you blend multiple style references? Well, of course. Just put in a space between each URL, or drag multiple images into the web prompt bar. There's probably a limit to the number of images you can use as a style reference, but I haven't hit it yet. Let me choose three style references from the Explore page to play with. I've already added a text prompt. It's really easy. Now, if you want one image to be the major style and the others to be more minor, use weights. Paste in your URL, add colon, colon, and a number. Higher numbers will give that image more weight. Lower numbers, less weight. If you don't add a number after the double colon, the default weight is one. Weights are easy to add in Discord but it's a little tricky on the website right now because you can't actually see the links. If you figured out a slick way of using SREFs on the website, let us know in the comments below. Style reference is a great way of getting the look you want in your images quickly without trying to describe the look with words. Midjourney will look at the image URL as a style reference and try to make something that matches the aesthetic. No more trying to find the words to describe the style you want. Just point the AI in the direction and say, look over there. Let us know how you're using the style reference parameter in the comments below. This is Jen at Making AI Magic. Let's make something amazing together.